Good morning. At uh, 720 this morning, CMPD officers were dispatched to a larceny from vehicle call at the 6100 block of Winged Elm Court. Uh, that call had then been upgraded. Apparently the uh, suspect had pointed a gun at a victim. Uh, and so officers from two divisions responded. The first officer on scene uh, began a foot chase with the suspect. Another officer arrived and also began pursuing that suspect on foot. When the officer caught the suspect, the suspect turned and fired a shot, striking the officer. The officer returned fire and uh, the suspect continued to flee. The suspect was not hit. Another officer took that suspect into custody. A gun was recovered from the suspect. The officer that was uh, shot, uh, thankfully, is uh, non-life threatening and we'll release his name uh, later today. Questions? Any other injuries to the suspect that were injured? No, no. I, I, wanna, I wanna say this, the, uh, the suspect in this case is 14 years old. Um, Uh, it's, he's going to be charged with uh, robbery and attempted murder of a police officer. I employ parents, guardians, know where your children are, know where they are at all times. Um, get them involved in constructive things. 14 year old children should not be breaking into cars, stealing or possessing firearms and uh, confronting and assaulting anyone uh, the public or law enforcement. We're fortunate today this wasn't more serious both for the police, our officer, and, uh, and the, the, vic the suspect, and the victim himself. So um, I just want to make sure we reiter reiterate that. It is, a, it, is a, it is a bad day in Charlotte or anywhere where a 14-year-old uh, possesses a gun and tries to kill a, a police officer. Where was the officer shot? Do you know? Uh, he was shot in the upper body. And fortunately, again, non-life threatening, we believe he'll be released today. Do you have anything to say to the residents? You said a lot of people came around. Do you have anything you want to reiterate to them? Sure. Um, so again, uh, originally this was a, a car break-in. Um, we don't know where the suspect got his gun. It's possible it was recovered or retrieved from a car during a break-in out here. So I would ask them to check their property secure their firearms uh, and know that this is a, an incident that is now resolved. And once we continue our and finish our investigation today, hopefully life will get back to normal around here. Now you I'm sorry. Uh, could have gotten this gun from another car or something. So you, are you guys trying to figure out how many cars he broke into exactly? We know that there's a car broken into here. We can't assume he got the gun from that car or another car. We just, I'm saying to the public, uh, a lot of folks get guns from uh, unsecured vehicles or uh, vehicles with, that have unsecured weapons in them. Right. So if you're a gun owner, be responsible. And, and you made an address to parents to know where your kids are at at all times and just be vi uh, vigilant, if I could speak. But how important, what message do you have today for those kiddos who are out of school, probably bored, uh, scrolling on social media and seeing different things? What's your message to them for them to act accordingly and not do something that will cost them you know, their freedom or their lives? Certainly. Uh, we have perspective as adults that uh, what would we do differently? Uh, I think engage your passions, find productive things to do, seek a mentor, find some adult that believes in you and uh, get guidance from them. Kids need things to do besides being bored and, and breaking into cars and, uh, and, and doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Uh, and I think that, that adults need to look for kids like that that need guidance and, um, and support them. It makes a difference. It just takes one person. There's no indication of that. That'll come out later, but I believe it was the victim of, like somebody found some, the suspect in their car. And at that point, the suspect pointed a gun at that victim or another person. Um, not sure at this point, but that was the original call. And they weren't harmed? They were not harmed, thankfully. Do you have an estimate about how much longer this is gonna be out here? 
Um, it should be released mid-afternoon, I would imagine. And CMPD will handle this investigation. The officer that fired their weapon did not strike any other person. Investigation will not be handling this. This will be a, a CMPD case. Uh, our internal affairs is here doing an internal investigation as well as our criminal investigations division, homicide unit, conducting the, uh, the uh, assault on an officer, attempted murder of an officer investigation. To be clear, that's because the officer who fired the shot didn't hit anyone. That's yeah. why the state investigation. That is correct. In consultation with the State Bureau of Investigation and the District Attorney's Office, that is why CMPD will handle this. Any other questions for the Chief? One question. With the holidays, um, a lot of people are getting desperate and wanting to do those carjacks. Do you have any uh, any advice for people just being vigilant when they go and they head out for the, for the holiday season for them to be safe? Certainly. We, we don't want people to be afraid, but we just want people to have situational awareness, to uh, know their surroundings, uh, look around before they park or socialize outside and things like that. Just, you know, have a purpose for where you're going and what you're doing. And, um, and if you see anything suspicious, obviously call 911. That's, that, that helps a lot. When you see something that doesn't feel right, listen to your instinct and let us know about it.